guys, Miss Nicole here with a teen hour activity. And so what we're gonna be making today is duct tape wallets. And you're gonna find the kit with all the supplies over in our teen area. And on the outside of the kits, you're gonna see two colors of duct tape on those. And those are the two colors that are included inside of the kit. And there's also a snack. Inside your kit, you're gonna find four nine inch strips of your pattern as well as four nine inch or sorry six nine inch strips of solid color and what we're going to do with the solids and the patterns is the solids going to be on the inside of your wallet and the patterns are going to be on the outside in addition to those two things you're also going to find um four five inch strips that look about like this they'll all be on a sheet and then you're going to find doo -doo 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 -doo, four of these half strips and so all of these pieces are going to be used to make our wallet this is really important guys you are going to need a ruler for this so i hope everybody has a ruler and a pair of scissors at home tearing doesn't really work when you're trimming the edges so just a heads up if not you can always come and ask to borrow one at the library and assemble this here works for me okay let's get started first things first we're going to work with our solid color and we're going to peel them off of our backing you can see and we're going to lay them down on the table sticky side up and we're basically going to be overlapping them as we lay them about half an inch each time could be a little less it doesn't need to be exactly perfect thank goodness in this part so oh and if you're like me you'll have your tape kind of stick to itself so do your very best guys so I'm going to pause as I lay these four and then I'm going to show you guys what it'll look like I'll be right back Alrighty, guys so I've stuck those together and it's going to look a little something like this you can see where I've layered them and I'm currently trying to stick it to itself. And because I'm so clumsy, I'm putting this one aside and we're going to do the exact same thing. Keep that sticky side up guys with our pattern papers. So I'm going to pause myself and I'll meet you guys back here when you've had those four stuck together, just like you did with the solids. Alrighty. Now we should have a sheet of the pattern paper, just like we made a sheet of the solid. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to be putting those sticky sides together and you're going to want to leave, a lip of each color so it'll be pattern sticking up higher on one side and solid sticking up higher on the other side and that's going to be a half an inch and this one has less room for wiggle so make sure you try to get it as close to half an inch as possible i'm going to go ahead and stick my two pieces together to show you exactly what that looks like okay so what i mean by that little lip is you can see there's some sticky stuff hanging down on this side and sticky stuff hanging down on that side and this is important because we're actually going to be folding those over to attach them to the other side and this helps kind of tie our patterns in and I'm gonna fold over one to start so you can kind of see that one goes down on here and then the pattern side is going to fold over onto our solid so then you can see it on that side as well. Now from here, this is where your ruler is going to become really important because you're going to need to trim this whole thing down to eight and a half inches in length. So we're going to start out doing that. I'm going to go ahead and measure and do mine. You can use an X-Acto blade if you have one or a pair of scissors. I'm using the X-Acto blade because I find that I get a little better precision out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and start by trimming. And this is perfect in case you didn't get your pieces lined up perfectly with each other, which I didn't. There's trims on the edge as well. So, and you get to trim those off and give it a nice clean edge. Perfect. And when we're done with that, you'll have something that looks a little bit like this. So it'll be eight and a half inches and then you can see the other side. I'm going to put this aside and we're actually going to get started working on the pockets. And so we're going to work on the first pocket, which is actually going to use our pattern five inch strips. So you're going to take those sticky side up and stick two of them together like they're joined just like we did with the sheets. We're making kind of like small sheets here so you can kind of see there's that sheet and then you're going to take the other two pieces and you're going to stick them to the back side just like we did with the other one. And just like the other one we're going to leave a little bit of a lip on each side so we can fold those over. So I'll show you what I mean. So you can see they're both here and they each have a little lip, which means that we can fold those two pieces over. And then we're actually gonna measure this and trim it down. So we want it to be 
four inches across and three inches in height. So I'm going to trim it four inches across to show you guys first. So there should be a lot to trim off, which is, like I said, this is helpful to have extra just in case you're like me and you're not the best at sticking the two things together perfectly straight. So I've got my four inches across and now we're going to want to make it three inches tall. So let's go ahead and trim these things down. And these measurements are very important because this is how things fit in there. If you make it too small, you're not going to have your cards fit. If you make it too big, it might not fit in your wallet all the way. So you're going to end up with a little square with all the edges trimmed. That one little square, little rectangle. There's four inches across and three inches up. We're going to take that and set that aside as well. And now we're going to grab our two pieces of nine inch solid color and you're going to lay one down and put the other one directly on top of it. So sticky side to sticky side to make yourself a little colored strip. Okay, and so you should have a strip front to back like this. And what you're gonna do actually is trim it into four, two four inch pieces. Wow, I can talk, I promise. Well, most days anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure and trim those. These are going to be two other pockets inside of your wallet. So you have room for like your library card and your ID and a credit card. Alrighty, I've got one of them here. So this is a four inch, pardon the weird little pieces hanging over. And then I'm gonna trim the second piece down. Okay. And then I've got my second four inch piece. And what we're actually gonna do with these, we're gonna pick back up that little one that has this piece in it and we're actually going to be layering these on top of each other to create the pocket itself or the pockets in plural. So what you'll notice is that your one piece isn't going to go all the way down. This is going to be your middle piece and that's okay because your stuff will still fit just fine in your wallet. And when they're layered, they're going to look a little something like this. You can make that middle one a little bit lower if you'd like more of your pattern showing. So, for instance, I moved it down just a little bit so there's a little more pattern showing. From here, we're actually going to take one of those long half strips. And I cut mine in half. So it's half of a half strip, a little piece like this. And you're going to use it to attach them together on the left-hand side. I'm doing it backwards for you guys, so hopefully it comes out correct. <laughs> That's always my hope anyway. So I'll be right back when I've got it attached. Oops. All right, now I've got the two pieces attached, and you're going to notice there's a little bit of ends that we just need to trim off with our scissors or X-Acto blade. And that is the start of our pockets here. So from here, we're actually going to grab our long lovely sheet that has the solid color on the one side and the pattern on the other. I apologize I'm also duct taping my hair so let me pull those out of there. Might just pull my hair out of my face and make that a little easier for me. Sorry for making you guys wait there we go. So from here you're actually going to not throw things. You're actually going to line up your pockets in the upper right hand corner. So I'm going to grab my piece and I'll show you how to do Alrighty, so it's up in the corner here, and from this point, we're actually going to use another one of our half sheets, half pieces, one of the long ones, and we're going to close off the other side of our wallet. So it's going to look a little something like this where you can see the sticky on that side, it's folded over so that this is starting to be attached in. From here, we're actually going to fold our wallets in half. Okay, so fold them in half. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck your bottom piece underneath your pockets. You can kind of see this is gonna make the spot where your cash goes or your receipts if you're anything like me. It's mostly receipts in my wallet lately. And, and you're gonna hold it in place. So you'll see from here that you are starting to have a wallet shape, which is really, really exciting. And this point, you're going to actually use your last piece of half tape, and you're going to attach this side and close it. 
So, and again, this is only going to take about half of your thing. So I'm going to, you can actually rip this one right in half because we will trim it once we've got it in place. Perfect. Do, do, do. So I've got it on there partly. Flip it over so the other side gets a little trim. So you can see it's like that. This piece does fold out because it's not attached all the way. And that's okay. And then trim off those ends to make sure that it is even with the rest of your wallet. So it's going to look a little something like this. And yep, that's still kind of flappy, which is totally okay because what we're going to do now is we're actually going to use our small piece here and we're going to put it not all the way from the top to the bottom because you'll kind of close off your pocket. I'm actually going to put it right there, kind of following along the lip a little bit. Perfect. And once you've got that in there, you're just going to trim that last little piece off and you have a wallet. You fold it in half here and it's going to take a while for it to get used to being folded this way because the tape really wants to stay straight. But if you put it in a back pocket, you sit on it, you stuff it under a bunch of books, it'll start to be wallet shaped in no time. And what you'll end up with is a pop is a wallet that has a spot for your cash and a couple spots for cards. I hope this video helped you guys make these and I hope to see you guys rocking your wallet sometime soon. Bye guys!